Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Lately, I got a lot of requests, asking me how I created the subscribe button animation that you can see in my intros, so today we'll learn how to create this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. So let's start. First, you have to import the files you need into After Effects. You can download the full project including the sound effect, from the link in the description. Create a new composition, and name it, Subscribe Call Out. In this example, I'm using a full HD 1080 pixels preset, with 30 frames per second, and 6 seconds long. Select the rounded rectangle tool. Use a red color for fill, with no stroke. And draw a shape like this. Rename this shape layer, button. Click on, rectangle 1. Rectangle Path 1. Unlink the size values. Then change them to 620 and 185. Align the button layer in the center of your composition. Select the text tool and write Subscribe. I am using the Railway Extra Bold font family with 81 pixels size and white color. Align the text in the center too. Move to 1 second, then click P to open the position properties. Create a keyframe here. Then move 15 frames back, and drag your text to the right like this. Move back to 1 second, then grab this pick whip, and parent the text layer to the button layer. Create keyframes on the size and roundness properties of the button layer. Then click P to open its position, and create a keyframe on it too. Now, click Q, to reveal all the properties of this layer, which have keyframes on them. Move to 15 frames. Change both size values to 125. The roundness to 100. Then drag it to the bottom like this, until is not visible anymore. Select all the keyframes, right-click on any of them, and easy-ease them. Then open the graph editor, select all of them again, and change their curve like this. Select the button layer and click Ctrl D to duplicate it. Place the new layer on top of the text layer, and rename it, Mat1. Then change the track mat of the text layer to Alpha Mat. Until now, our animation looks like this. Drag the bell image over this icon, to create a separate composition for it. Do the same with the hand image. Bring the bell composition, into the subscribe callout composition. and change its scale to 45%. Place it at the bottom of the composition. Make sure to be at 1 second. Then enter the bell composition, and click the left bracket button, to change the bell layer in point. We've did this, to make the bell layer invisible until second 1. Open the hand composition. Select the hand layer, then click, layer, auto trace. Make sure that the channel is alpha, and the apply to new layer box is selected, and click OK. Delete the image layer, then duplicate the auto traced layer. Rename the top one, outline. And the bottom one, fill. 
go to Effects and Presets panel and search for Fill. Apply it to the outline layer and change its color to black. Expand the second layer, then click on Masks. Select Mask 1, and delete it. The pointer shape is complete now. Go back to the Subscribe Callout Composition, and bring the hand composition here. Scale it down to 70%. Move to 1 second and 15 frames, open the position settings. And drag it like this, until the pointer indicates the middle of your subscribe button. Create a keyframe here. Move to 1 second, then drag the hand layer down like this, and a little to the right. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Move to 1 second and 27 frames. Then select the Puppet Pin tool, and create your first pin here, and another 3 like this. Expand the Mesh 1 menu, click on Deform, Puppet Pin 1. As you can see a keyframe was already created here. Move to 2 seconds, and change the Y position value like this, until the pointer finger bends enough. Then move another 3 frames forward, select the first keyframe, copy it, and paste it here. As you can see, the click on animation is ready. Place your playhead on 2 seconds, select the text tool, and write, subscribed. Place the subscribed layer around here, then align it horizontally to the center. Change its color to a gray color, like this one. Then, grab this pick whip, and parent it to the subscribe text layer. Now, select the subscribe layer. Open Position Options, and create a hold keyframe here. Move to 2 seconds and 10 frames, and drag it down like this, until the second text is placed right in the middle of your button. Select the Mat 1 layer, and duplicate it. Then, Bring the subscribe text layer under the mat 2 layer, and change its track mat to, alpha mat. Go to 2 seconds, expand the button options, then open the fill one. Create a keyframe on color. Then move to 2 seconds and 10 frames. And change the color to a light gray color. Easy ease this two keyframes. Move again to 2 seconds, select the bell layer, and open its position property. Create a keyframe here. Then move back to 2 seconds and 10 frames, and drag it to the right like this. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change its curve like this. Apply the fill effect to it. And change the fill color to the same gray color as the subscribe text. Our subscribe button animation looks like this. Move to 3 seconds, select the hand layer, and open its position option. Create a hold keyframe here. Move 15 frames forward, and drag it to the right like this. 
maybe a little down too, if it needs. Move to 3 seconds and 27 frames. Click Q, to reveal all the keyframes. Copy all three keyframes from Puppet Pin 1. And paste them here. As you can see, we've created the second click on 2. Enter the bell comp. Select the bell layer. And auto trace it. Use the same settings as before. Delete the bell image, then duplicate the auto traced layer two times. Rename the first one body. The second one, left. And the third one, right. Expand the body layer, click on masks. Select mask 2 and mask 3, and delete them. Repeat the process on left layer, only this time delete the masks, 1, 3 and 4. Do the same with the right layer, but delete the masks, 1, 2 and 4. Move to 4 seconds and 10 frames, select the left and right layers, and open the position settings. Create a keyframe here, on both of them. Then move to 4 seconds. And change the left layer position values like this. 290, and 245. And for the right layer, 110 and 245. Select all the keyframes, and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor and change their curves like this. Go back to the subscribe callout composition, and let's see what do we have until now. Wow, it looks great. Move to 4 seconds and 15 frames. Select the hand layer, and open the position settings. Create a hold keyframe here. Then move to 5 seconds, and drag the layer down like this. And a little to the right. Parent the mat 2 layer with the button layer. Do the same with the bell layer. Then select the button layer, open its position, and create a hold keyframe here. Move to 5 seconds and 15 frames, and drag it down like this, until is not visible anymore. Check all these boxes to apply motion blur to our subscribe button animation. Activate it from here, and you are done. Let's see our final result. Great, the last step is to bring the sound effect into your composition, and make it start from 2 seconds. Duplicate it, and make the second one start from the 4th second. Now you can render it with a transparent background, then resize it and use it as an overlay for any of your videos. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a YouTube subscribe button animation in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials, on interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.